Memphis has won seven straight in the series against the Shockers. Nine of the last ten in a series that dates back all the way to 1958. And now Memphis bringing it up the floor. Beautiful little back door in the interior defense as they turn it back. There was Dalen Original able to protect the win. This is Fondlin Beverly. Picks up his dribble in the corner. Nearly stolen by Jones. Rodgers back to Beverly. Left open and he hits. Loss at Tulsa on Wednesday night. A game that they blew a 15-point lead in the second half. As they work into the corner, that's a three. Rodgers bangs it in from the corner. There are these numbers about how Wichita State shooting was killing them, and now they make threes on their first two trips. <laughs> well, you know, in the last meeting, they made 13 of 25 threes. He gets to the line. Jones, the southpaw, is going to let it fly. And finally gets the Tigers their first points. In his shot selection, too, John. You could see it there. Was not in a hurry. Used the up fake and then got a really wide open three for himself. Rodgers dials it up from distance again. That is a high release, man. That is a tough shot to, to really disrupt because he gets good elevation and then releases it from such a high point. He's back healthy. This is Poto, little deflection underneath Poto, guy who started a bunch of games for this team. Now, an eight game losing streak. Hadn't won in more than six weeks. This uh, program that has really struggled to, to continue its upward trajectory is Malcolm Dandridge. Worked on his body since last season and is able to catch and finish. Excellent attack. And the other thing, they're a new group. I mean, even though they were playing well early on, they're still made up of all new guys for the most part. Because his team's shot quality score is an expected score purely based on the quality of shots each team has gotten. Every possession analyzed using shot quality's computer vision. Boy, nearly coughed it up. Poto gets it back. You gotta take job. this one and get it swung. There you go. Get it to the other side. Just, oh, don't catch it cleanly. And you miss an opportunity for a shot. But he bails himself out by getting to the rim. Shot clock at nine. Poto coming around a screen on the box. Dandridge and it's poked away. Tomlin got a piece. It's only the second Wichita State turnover. Tomlin, full extension. Well done by the Tigers there. Quick hit and took advantage of the mismatch. And that was a point of emphasis at practice yesterday, getting those quick seals for Tomlin and getting him more integrated into the offense. Talking about quick seals. Started 36 games last year for Jerome Tang. Big part of that Elite Eight team as Bell on a tough high arching floater for the Shockers. Xavier Bell, Wichita native out of Andover Central High School. Jones stops on a dive, crosses over, splash! Masterful! We don't want to get up and down in a windshield wiper game. Yeah, I don't think we're going to end up at 200 total points today. <laughs> DeGray misses on a tough contest. A turnover here, Rodgers on the push. Ballard roll into the cup, misses, that's their eighth straight miss. And the Tigers control the glass. Nice challenge that time by Down Dandridge without fouling. Just walled up and made it tough for Ballard there. Corner lead to Walton, slices in. Shot was redirected and Walton cleans up his own miss. Raggedness continues, one of their last ten. Wichita State hasn't been much better. They started four of six as Beverly hits a pretty little floater. He got there, was kind of a late challenge, and that little mid-range baseline shot is one of the toughest shots in the game, and that's a tough move by Tomlin that time. Clark, it's crazy to think we're even having the conversation of them approaching the tournament bubble, but that's exactly where they're heading. Oh, Dandridge with a shot in the arm. And now the Shockers... Just trying to steady the waters. This is Naquan Tang making his second straight start. Meantime, Javon Quinterly struggles continues. Now 0 for 7. He's their second leading scorer. Big shot. Meantime, it's Rodgers, one of the elite three-point shooters in the country. Yeah, has nearly half their three-point makes on the season and has three of their four makes tonight. Yeah, and that's a huge basket because this team, the Shockers, have led Virtually from the beginning of this game is Walton and 
bounces right back. Wichita State just nine wins on the season. Rodgers, splash. Well, Paul Mills said that was one of the keys today. You need Colby Rogers to get back to scoring the way he can. And boy, has he come up with a couple of big buckets. Both threes here in this second half to keep Memphis at bay. David Jones, left hand extension, Dandridge. Couple of offensive rebounds, and he bangs it back in for Memphis. Especially with the shot clock so early, you might want to pull that one out and start over. Agreed. DeGray, Euro step, and he lays it in for the Shockers. We haven't really called David Jones' name much here either. I thought he had an open three at the beginning of that possession that he turned down, and Memphis never really got another good look. Beverly erased by Dandridge. Today from the Tigers, the problem for them has been offense today. DeGray on the kick by Beverly, and that's a three. How about this? That is found money right there. Sometimes that's how it stacks up against you when it's going bad, John. A little hesitation, but the three-pointer falls. Jones keeps it alive to Walton. The kick. This is hard away. Nice pass. Sharon Fott turned back by Poto. Maybe rock bottom during this four-game slide. This is Xavier Bell. Getting all the way to the rack. But otherwise, they've been right on top of the scouting report and the game plan they laid out. This is Rogers, their leading scorer. He fires and buries a three. It's not quietly. He breaks out of it in a big way. DeGray. Biggest lead for the Shockers. <laughs> and you've got good shooters around him, too, John there in West Lafayette. Boy, Quinterly turns it over right out of the timeout and a layup for Bell at the other end. The turnover is just hard to see them being able to bounce back. Well, Dandridge is trying to give them a little bit of... Look, one thing you noticed in the timeout, he was the first guy off the bench when Wichita State made that run congratulating his teammates. So that's something you like to see. For sure. And that's a difference in what you're seeing with the Shockers. Johnny, consider what the expectation level was for this team as Quinterly misses a layup. Dandridge poked away, and Memphis again comes up empty. It obviously put this program back on the map in a lot of ways after some of the struggles. But clearly, this is a key moment in the program. Yeah, I mean, it was really a low end when he came in. As they try to fight through some of what has ailed this team all season long. Jordan's going to reset to Quinterly as we cross the five-minute mark, and Quinterly starting to carve him up. But so far, they have written a different script so far here in Memphis. Beverly the kick. This is DeGray taking some contact. He missed it again. Tigers looking to push. Here comes the former Shocker, Walton. The kick to Jones. He'll hoist the three. He buries it. And here comes Memphis. The Tigers showing signs of bite. David Jones, who's been quiet most of this half. As we come up on the final two minutes here in Memphis, Jones from deep. Starring in his role. Memphis has erased a 14-point second-half deficit. We are tied. But Rodgers with the answer. To great diving bodies all over the place. Rodgers ahead of the field. It's Beverly. And the Shockers punching back. Urgency level for the Tigers is palpable. Wichita State, scrappy. They're up four late. They don't take much time off the clock. Yeah, that was a little quick, I thought. Especially since it wasn't a wide open layup. Quinterly, it. Everyone's standing here in Memphis. Quinterly, this is Jones. Elevates, he buries it. Inbound to Beverly, he'll fire from center court, and it is over. David Jones stops the show.